This is Ruth Ann from Snake River Roasting Company, and I want to introduce you today to our favorite easy brew method, the Chemex Automatic. The Chemex and pour over coffee brew methods have been the most popular brew methods for decades for a really good reason. Pour over brew methods are a slow pour over a bed of coffee that creates bloom in the coffee bed. And what that does is create space between the coffee grounds so that water really evenly extracts all of the coffee flavor. Brewing is an art in itself. Check out our Sneak River Roasting Company quick start guide for brewing. There's a lot of great brewing tips in there. But pour over is one of the best ways to extract coffee if it's done well. The Chemex Automatic mimics a pour over in that it starts and stops brewing. And it also has a really big spray head that covers the whole bed depth of the coffee. So you can see this one starting and stopping and look at all of that bloom, all of that space that has been created for the water to evenly extract all the way from. So the way we start with our Chemex Brewer is with a ratio, well, let's start with a, with a grind. So we'll weigh out two ounces of coffee for 30 ounces of water. Or the, the other thing that I love about the Chemex Brewers is that, they, is that they have different size containers. So you still get a really nice bed depth if you want a smaller pint size, like this one ounce to 15 ounce ratio. This one is a two ounce to 30 ounce ratio. The grind fineness of the coffee is about that of granulated sugar. So I'll take the Chemex glass decanter. We put three sides of the square on the pour side and one side of the square on the back side. You can also wet the, co the coffee filter and that will help to rinse out some of the paper um, fragments that are left. But again, we're talking about easy here, so we're not gonna do that for this. So I've poured in the coffee grounds. And then I simply fill up the water reservoir to the six cup mark. And then I turn the brewer on to number one. And what number one does is it starts to heat up the water and it also heats up the heating plate. So it will keep the decanter heated for 30 minutes and then automatically turn off. The other option is to turn it on to number two, which does not heat up the heating plate. So one thing I love about the Chemex Brewer that is actually better than a pour over is that the water is heated during the entire brew pop process. As you're doing a pour over brew method, your water is slowly cooling, cooling down during that entire pour time. This has a really even consistent hot brew temperature, which again helps the extraction be really even. Look at this bloom on this one, wow. And so we'll wait a little bit for it to, uh, to settle down before we, pour, before we pour it. Um, and all of these items can be found on our website, snakeriverroastingco.com. If you have any brew questions, feel free to direct message us on Instagram, send us a Facebook message, zip us an email. We're always happy to help you make great coffee.